Now, your Big 2 local weather authority forecast. We warn you first with meteorologist Derek Sibley. Well, good morning, Odessa. Here's a live look outside your doorstep. In fact, this is actually a live look out as well. Our big two studios facing the I-20 area. Thanks to that West Texas State Bank Sky Tracker, of course, for the nice image of Odessa outside. And, you know, our weather looking rather nice out there as well. Here's the regional view showing what's going on. We do have a tropical disturbance, by the way, that is pushing its way across the southeast coast of Texas. And that is going to bring our friends and neighbors around the Houston area plenty of heavy downpours. Even while west of Houston could see some heavy downpours. Meanwhile, across our area, lots of clouds across the Four Corners region, especially around Albuquerque, and that's actually impacting our area. We have some of those mid-level disturbances that are pushing through our atmosphere, giving us some cloud cover for us to work with across the western sections. But meanwhile, across the basin, we're still looking rather clear out there. That's one of the reasons why those temperatures outside are feeling a little bit nicer compared to what they've been over the last few days out here. Still a little bit above normal for those low temperatures, though. We're going to see plenty of sunshine here for us today, and that's going to lead us to some afternoon high temperatures, a little above average for this time of the year. But we do have some changes here coming up shortly. I'll get to the details on that here coming up in just a couple of minutes. But first, I want to show you the model here agreeing with what we have going on outside, which is that cloud cover. And as we head into today, I think those clouds will begin to lift out a little bit. And we're going to see plenty of sunshine across the basin. The remaining clouds will probably be more down towards the Marfa Plateau region, impacting them and getting maybe a couple of isolated sprinkles mixed in there. But I think for the most part, we should remain pretty dry outside here for West Texas. As we head into tomorrow, though, it's a little bit more unstable. We start to see a little bit more clouds and possibly a little bit of green showing up here on the map, indicating we could see a couple of isolated showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm mixed in or two. And you could see mainly down towards the Marfa Plateau region also picking up on that activity, thanks to those mid-level disturbances moving through. And that's going to increase the rain chances here coming up later on. Southeasterly wind flow also in effect, 5 to 10 miles per hour. That's going to help heat up the temperatures over the next couple of days here for us. And you could see the wind speeds looking really light, very single-digit wind speed readings, as you can see. So not too breezy, definitely not windy outside. The winds start to turn a little bit more out of the east by Wednesday here for us across West Texas, and that will lead us into some a little bit of warmer temperatures because it's coming directly off the land there at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's the forecast here for us today. Lots of sunshine out there. We got plenty of 90 degree readings, and I'll show you that here coming up shortly. But overall, a very nice day if you have any outdoor plans. And just break down that day here for us today. We do expect the sunshine to start around the 8 o'clock hour, and that's going to warm up to around 85 degrees thanks to the daytime heating effect. As we approach 4 o'clock today, maybe just a couple of passing clouds, but overall, that high temperature will be about 93 degrees. And because it's about 93 for the high temperature, it's a few degrees above average for this time of the year. Your low temperatures as well, I'm forecasting around 67 degrees, so that's about 5 degrees above the average there of 62. So believe it or not, it still feels cool out there, but it's still a little warmer than this time of the year where it should be in West Texas. As far as the other high temperatures go today across the northern basin, lower 90s as well, around 91 to 93, and down towards the central basin, pretty much the same range of temperatures. 91 for Garden City. Meanwhile, the warm spot here in Odessa Midland at 93 for the central basin. Down in the Trans-Pecos we go, the warm spot, check out Pecos, 96 degrees will be a high temperature here for us today, so a little bit warmer compared to where everybody else will be. Down into the mountains, we're going to see highs around into those low to mid 80s outside across the area. 95 though, except for Presidio and Big Ben, also a little warm there at 93 degrees. And for your seven day forecast. These 90s will be sticking around for the next several days. We will see a chance of some thunderstorms by the end of the week and into Saturday.